Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to go over a quick and easy way on how to make pork chop sandwiches. What you'll need is pork chops, you're going to need eggs, two Ziploc baggies, your choice of flour, and then a loaf of bread. So for the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our two eggs and we're going to crack them open and insert them into the bowl. Once both eggs are into the bowl, what we're going to do is take a fork. Well, I like to use a fork. You can also use a whisk and go ahead and just mix the eggs together. Once our eggs are at a nice consistency, we are going to go ahead and pour that egg mix into our first Ziploc bag. Next, what we are going to do is take our first and our second pork chops. We are going to thoroughly rinse them off and then enter them into our egg mix. So what you want to do is just make sure that egg mix is getting all over the pork chops. Um, what the egg mix is going to do is it's going to help the flour stick onto the pork chops just a little better than just using like water or anything else. Alrighty, so once we get that all nice and shaken up, we are going to take our second Ziploc bag and we are going to dump our flour into this Ziploc bag. Now, I like to use Ziploc bags just because it's a little less messy in my opinion. Um... And yeah, so I, I definitely just like to use the Ziploc bags instead of like a plate or anything. So now in this step, what we're going to do is we are going to take our pork chops with the egg mix all over it. And we're going to move the first pork chop into the bag of flour. Now, I like to do it a pork chop at a time just to make sure that like that pork chop is getting enough attention and flour that it needs. Um, so yeah, so you're just going to go ahead and once again, just make sure... You're mixing that Ziploc bag all around so that that flour is getting all over that pork chop. After you're done mixing that pork chop up really, really good into the Ziploc bag, we're just going to move that first pork chop onto the side. Um, just use a plate or me, I use the same bowl I mix the eggs in. Um, and then we're just going to take that second pork chop, add it to the bag of flour, and we're just going to repeat that last step and just shake it up real good, making sure again that the flour is all over the pork chop. Now we're going to go back to that first pork chop and we're going to add that first pork chop back into the egg mix. So with that second pork chop, we're going to do the same thing we just did with the first pork chop and move it into that separate bowl or plate. And then we're just going to take that first pork chop out of the egg mix and add it right back into the flour. And this just gives it a double coating of flour before it hits the grease. Then go ahead and seal it up and once again give it a really, really good shake. And then we are ready to move on to the grease. Alrighty, so the next step is just simply adding the pork chops to the grease. Please make sure you also do the double breading method to that second pork chop as well. And so for this step, it's probably best to use like a pair of tongs or something. I just use a spatula. But again, just move that first and second pork chop into the grease. And then we're just going to give it a while for it to go ahead and cook. So I like to cook my pork chops until they're like a little golden brown. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and start doing is getting prepared for the pork chops to come out the grease. So make sure you just go ahead and get whatever seasons you like. I use salt, pepper. For these pork chop sandwiches, I'm going to use some Cajun seasoning. And I'm also going to just use a little bit of parsley. Alrighty, so what I did was just take a plate and a thick layer of paper towels and we're just going to take the pork chops and add them onto the paper towels. So what the paper towels are going to do is kind of just drain some of that excess grease from the pork chops and then we are ready to add our seasoning. So first we're going to go ahead and add the salt and then we're going to add the pepper. Next, I added the parsley seasoning um, or the parsley flakes, and then I added my Cajun seasoning kind of thoroughly, but just not too much. And here we have it is our pork chops, but we are not done yet. Now we're just going to go ahead and move on to making our toast. And yes, I like to use a stove rather than a toaster. Um, I feel like we can really just get that butter cooked into the bread better, better that way. So once our butter is melted, we are going to add the bread. So what I like to do is I like to take the first piece of bread. And on that first side, I kind of like to just rub it in the butter, flip it over, um, and then also add a little bit of butter underneath that. Um, just to make sure that the toast like has like an equal amount of butter all around. 
What I like to do is add a little bit of garlic seasoning onto one side of the toast as well as some pepper flakes. Now I only do this to one side of the toast because my garlic seasoning has some salt in it and I don't, just don't want to make the overall um, sandwich too salty um, because you know we already added salt to the pork chops themselves and then to both pieces of the toast. So you're just going to make the toast to um, however you like it. Um, cook it for however long as you want. Um, if you want it burnt, most definitely burn it. Uh, me, I am i don't like mine burnt necessarily. So I'm just cooking it until it's kind of like golden brown. So once the toast is cooked to the way you like it, we're just going to go ahead and move that to the side. And we're going to do the same thing to the second piece of toast. So again, just butter up that one side. Um, flip it over to the other side. Again, I like to add a little butter to the bottom um, so that both sides have like a good amount of butter onto them. Add your seasoning and you definitely can skip this step if you want. Um, you can be like a normal person and just put your toast into, I mean, put your bread into a toaster and toast it the normal way and then add your butter and seasoning if you want to. Um, but after this second piece is done, we're just gonna move it alongside with the first piece and we're gonna get to my favorite part which is putting it all together. So this next step is 100% based off of how you like your sandwiches to be. So for this one, on one side I have the mayo, and the other side, um, we haven't did anything to it just yet. But again, the first side I went ahead and spread mayo. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the pork chops. I melted cheese onto both of them. And we're just going to stack them kind of like at a different angle. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and close the sandwich. So I did forget one major ingredient that my husband likes on his pork chop sandwiches, which is hot sauce. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that on here now. And then we're just going to put the bread back on there and just kind of smush it together. And here we have it. We have our pork chop sandwich. And this is just how it looks all put together. And right here, I just cut it up, you know, just to make it a little easier to eat. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And definitely let me know how this sandwich turned out for you.